guys, this is UFO Mike Cody. Um, I just wanted to share with you a video um, that I took earlier today, trying to show more of my stuff. <clears throat> um, that's uh, that's a that's a very low flying UFO, um, and the ones that I see on a routine basis, let me pause it for a second, um, are these spheres, these, these glowing spheres that are uh, pretty, pretty big and bright, and I press play, and um, they are, they're really quite magnificent, and I'll zoom in on it as much as I you know as much as I can. I don't like to zoom in all the way because sometimes I could lose it, and uh, and and when I lose them out of my frame, sometimes they just go straight up in the air and disappear. So I, I don't want to run that risk. So I zoom in a, a, a pretty aggressive amount, but nothing too crazy. Again, I can upload this on an SD card, and you can see the film directly. But tonight was a little special. Um, yeah, look at that. I mean, these, it, it, they're spheres and they're also discs. This is probably, it may be 150,000 feet above me. I don't, I don't think it's in lower Earth orbit. Makes no noise, no sound, and I, I'm very lucky because about once every two or three weeks, I'll have one of these encounters. Really very intimate. It's, it's like, um, it's like it's just for me. It feels like it's a present, you know, like, like Christmas all over again. Um, they're just huge, like plasma balls. They, they look like giant stars. Um, nobody else seems to see these things but me. So I filmed probably even these large ones. I probably filmed about fifty of them. But this time, this one actually does something a little special, and I'm going to show you. Um, I think I did zoom out on this. This was this was tonight at about. 8.45 p.m. No, I'm sorry, 9 o'clock p.m. And it was going next to, I believe that was Jupiter. And, of course, there's a moon. So I'm trying really hard to, I couldn't believe it was going to transit the moon, but it, it did. And, boom, there you go. So I'm going to try to darken the screen, if you don't mind. And maybe we can see some stuff in slow motion. Because if it's a if it's a plane, um, we're gonna find out right now. So for all the people, all these all these uh, all these people who keep telling me it's a plane all these years, we're gonna find out soon. We're gonna find out right now. Okay, that must have been toward the end of it. I'm sorry. So, because every time I've seen a plane transit a moon, whether it was bright like that, or, or even if it wasn't, um, I could easily see the wings and tail. So I was very excited to see this. So it's coming in, and um, I've been seeing this phenomenon now for over three years, and I, I was a little cautious. I didn't want to zoom too much into the moon, because I didn't want to lose the anomaly as well. The UFO. So it goes toward the moon. It's a sphere. And that's, that's really strange. My camera just did that uh, because that was the most important part. <laughs> and of course, uh, you know, my camera lost focus. Okay. So now I'm going to do. This is going to be pretty dark. You know? I have no choice. I'm trying to help out here. So now it's going to it's going to go transit the moon. All right. So and then you're going to see it a little bit here. right there Let me back up.
it is a sphere all the way through. It is a disc and a sphere all the way through. That is a huge deal. Um, look at this. To catch one of these, it's not all. It's not an everyday occurrence for me. But for me to be able to one to, to film one that actually transited the moon, uh, billions, billions to one, the odds would be. As you can see, it's right there. Okay, and. There it is. Okay. Right there. I know it's a little grainy. I apologize. And then we slow motion this again. You know, I'm sorry, but for all these years that people told me it was a plane, um, I think you're wrong. <laughs> sorry. Um, no, it's not. Uh, here it is with the, with, the, with the light on again. Make it a little bit brighter. Okay, I think it would be better when it was darker, but um, you're wrong. Um, you know, and, and I always found it surprising that people, um, you know, would sit there and actually really tell me that. You know, like, yeah, you know, it, you know, you're, you're, you're filming a plane, unfortunately, Michael. You're just getting very confused. And, and it's like, you know, I do this all the time, you know what I mean? Like, I really do. Um, I'm out there all the time doing this, and it just it shocks me that people don't give me the benefit of the doubt that I don't know what a plane is. I mean, I did study holographic planes for a long time. Now, there's something else I'm going to show you. Um, let me pause it. Uh, this is really crazy, but please just have a seat, be patient, and you're going to see something else that happened with this phenomenon tonight. I really hope I can catch this, um, this illusion. It's not an illusion, it's just something amazing. Okay, I'm going to have it on pause. It's going to go to transit to moon. Now, as that's happening, there is a lot of phenomenon in the background where the noise is. Okay, now it's going into the moon. I would like you to pay attention to this side over here okay i want you just to bear with me for a second let me get something here all right this side right here as the ufo goes and transits the moon it goes out that way right you're going to see something that was inside the moon shoot out this way I, I really wish I was, like, kidding, because I think this is, like, a script out of, like, a Spielberg movie, but it's the truth. And that's too bad. You know what I'm realizing? Oh, man. I'm not going to be able to get it. But I have an idea. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's actually make this brighter. Not that fucking bright. Jeez, Michael. Okay, let's try it again. Well, it was fine before. Why did it do that? Oh, there's, there's white, left, white stuff around the icons. Same part of that moon. Boom! Right there. Okay. Top right, right corner. The second this UFO hits the moon, explosion comes out of the moon. Bang! Right there. And um, you can't really see it uh, unless you do slow motion. Now, the, the worst thing in the world with this camera, that they don't want any feedback from me, is they shouldn't... <sighs> How did I turn that? Okay, back. Sorry about that. Top right corner. I'm going to be playing the pause and fr freeze game. Okay. So if you 
look. You're going to look right here. Something's going to shoot right out of the moon right from there. Now, there will be icons in the way, but I will try my best to freeze it. I might not be able to get it, guys. I, I think this is less than one, 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 uh, no, it's not, not, that's too bad, um, oh, uh, I did, I got it, it's a miracle, here it is. This thing right here, and I'm not kidding you, right here, this thing right there, see that? That's, that's a UFO, okay. a real gigantic uh, sphere. That is a dark sphere. That is a, that's a different type of sphere. They're out there. This is what I was talking about in the last video. That no one will ever see or learn about because no one can even find me anymore on YouTube. Um, the 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 alien entities are hiding in the blackness of space time in the noise. The glowing spheres that, that just went to the moon. Okay, it shot off this. Now, when you look at this more carefully, you also see a disc. And I told you guys that these can be disks. These also can be spheres. This is a circle right here. There's the sphere. It can be either or. They're one and the same. It can be, okay? You see, now let's, 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 start, let's darken this a little bit. Just, okay? Let's darken a little bit more. A little bit more? Okay. Hey, guys, look at that. Hey, nothing over here, right? But there's definitely something over here. Wasn't there before. It looks like a disc or a big sphere. Now if I hit... I have to actually do something really important here. I'm going to save this picture because, you know, I have to. Photo capture. Um, okay. Now I got the picture permanently. Oh, I'm happy. That was really lucky. So here it goes. Your time is valuable. Now, it just went in here. Okay. This is the beginning of the explosion right here. This is the beginning of it. Right here is where it starts to, you start to see a, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Let me back up a little bit here. It's about to happen right here. This is where the disturbance is. Okay. I, I blew it. I did hit pause, but it just didn't accept. I was too fast for it. Okay. I got another piece of it. No, I didn't. Same piece. See? So this... Right here, flew out of the moon. And if this stupid uh, camera didn't have these icons on there every time it did slow motion, I'll show it to you in real time. Yeah, that's right, the icons stay on there for like four seconds. Another stupid thing. Right, top right. Ready? Boom! See? See that little, that little flare? Now, now, people say, oh, the, you know, bugs. No, 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 they're not, guys. You have to look for those. I've been doing this for 40 years. Watch. Boom. The flare. Right there. That is how fast aliens, real aliens go. They don't want to see you. So what I'm learning is that these glowing spheres are not ours. <laughs> they're not even close to our technology. No noise. They're anti-gravity. But what you can see is you can see inside the fabric of space-time, inside of a simulation that you live in, 
There is no space-time. There's only a morphological line going left and right, north, south, to create a cube or a three-dimensional effect. So therefore, everything is mathematical. There is no space and time. So that's why, you know, when they say, oh, gee, what's, what's faster than the speed of light? We just can't figure out how these galaxies are moving so fast, but we can't, light can't even catch up. That's because space-time does not have any limitations uh, of how fast it can grow. It's, it, it's, it's a completely different fabric. All right, so here goes. Here's the real deal. Top right corner. Boom! That flash. That little splash is exactly what it is. Here's the rest of the video. Um, this light is very big, by the way. It's huge. So that's really cool. Um, when you, so if anyone anyone's out there filming, I I, I do my own. Filming because I'm so sick and tired of listening to these uh, Messiah of UFO uh, egos, you know, these people that I know this because I spoke to General that and I know that because I spoke to uh, Madagascar's defense secretary on June of 2016, whatever, you know, all, all these people, you know what I'm talking about. It's like. I think they tell us a little bit of the truth, and I think the other part of it's lies. There, I said it, okay? So I just got fed up, and I said I'm going to do my own. And uh, and that all happened uh, in 2015, on April 10th, when I saw a star move, and I was watching that star, and that cluster of stars for an hour and 15 minutes. So that's, that's what got me to find out I live in a simulation, and believe me, I wasn't happy. But I said, hey, it is what it is. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day.